Boma places a curse on Angel in heated fight. Oh, Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How did this fight start? We see both of them upstairs, right? And of course, they're playing snooker. And then Boma confronts Angel. He accuses Angel of telling Queen that he is a kiss and tell guy. Now, on this issue, I'm going to have opinions. So, if Angel says that Boma is a kiss and tell guy, it means he really is a kiss and tell guy. Because, tell me from what Perry asked Boma, why did you tell me that Tega's property is a, like a fishy, smelly, whatever? It means that Boma told Perry that Tega's whatever smells like whatever. Right, and that is really terrible. That is really rude. How would you say that about a lady who you had something with, and there you are telling another guy? So in this conversation, Boma is accusing Angel of telling Quinn, right, that he's a kiss and tell guy. Oh, like he doesn't want if I've kissed you outside here. So what the fuck is the secret? What's the secret? He said whatever happens in there stays in there. So what would be a secret? Now Boma goes ahead to tell her that you know what this is going to be the greatest achievement she's had in her life because she's 21. Coming on Big Brother is probably going to be her greatest achievement. And this really got Angel angry, got her infuriated. How would you say that? Because even you, Boma, you're 34 and you're right there on the show with a 21 year old girl. You're almost the age of her mom. Personally, for me, I'm a guy and I've studied the way Boma reacts and does his stuff, and sometimes it gets me irritated. How would you kiss and tell? You have something with a girl, keep it to yourself. You don't have to share with anybody. I mean, how would you tell someone that the person's private part is smelling? I was looking for kiss of person's three. Came to tell me that um, what's it called that you kissed a woman because I didn't see Jack. For the status that Boma brought on the show, look at the fact that you know he's an American actor, whatever it was, he was on blacklist and all of that. We do not expect this from him at all. Now, everything he has done right now is not what has gotten me angry at this point. Then you go and you place a curse on her, telling her it's not going to be better for her. That is out of place. Don't tell me fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fucking bastards. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your whole family. That's the only thing I want. If you get mad, man, I'm going to show you. You know what better for you? And literally, what does this tell you about Boma? I do not see any brand. I don't know what kind of brand is going to sign him, right? First off, he spoils his game. It's a, everybody sings differently. We understand. But this on national TV, the series of whatever he's done over time, right, has just, you know, has just been been spoiling his game back to back. With the whole Okra movement and the Okra gang he calls himself, I am sorry I'm a guy, right? But I need to address when something is wrong, something is wrong. You do not abuse a lady. Then you go ahead to talk about the fact that you know she's not here from her mental issues. That is crazy. Get the fuck out of your mental patient. Now this is the truth. What I think is Big Brother is gonna address this issue. Never should you cost someone, right? You're costing this person on a show. A lady, a girl who's like your younger sister, right? I mean you are 13 years older than her. You're 13 years older than her, right? When you were in GSS3 or in SS1, she was just being given birth to. You probably went for a naming. Now this is the truth. No one is going to blame Angel on this matter. You do not tell a lady that her mental issue is still affecting her. You do not place a curse on her. You don't tell her this is going to be her greatest achievement in life. As much as this is a game, some things should not be tolerated, right? I don't know what it's going to be like for Mama when it gets outside of the house. But as usual, in the long run, I'll leave you guys to go to the comment section and let me know what you think. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so guys so you get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at the Femi Daniel. Until next time, I come with you very soon. It's bye for now.